so you have your database set up. Uh, our next step is now to set up a bid underneath that database. Uh, there's a few different ways to do that, but uh, the way I'm going to show you to start with here is go under File, New, Bid, and you put the name of the project in. Uh, it's a wizard so you can change the typical takeoff method that you use. I go ahead and use the, the default here. Uh, we'll talk a little more about that uh, a little bit later. And then um, the other point is uh, you can import your takeoff into a few different uh, formats. One is QuickBid, which is on centers estimating software or you can have it go directly into an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, I do it manually and I'll show you how we do that a little bit later as well. So we're going to go ahead and uh, select done because we're going to do the plans a little bit later. And then there's a couple other ways to add the bids. You can see up here in the corner there's that uh, icon with the dollar sign. That is also a way to uh, add a bid to your database. It, the bid is open and um, as you can see there's no image here because we haven't loaded any of the electronic plans yet so to do that you go up here to cover sheet and we're gonna step through each of these individual items okay we're gonna um, take a look at what kind of job status we have on this one uh, we have bidding uh, but we want to actually add a couple more status uh, items so we want to put a bidding pending and awarded. So um, you go over to this uh, hourglass. It brings up the job statuses and uh, over here under new we put pending and then we put another new one in for awarded. This this box here is lock the bid so you'll select that if the job is awarded because you wouldn't want to change any of the quantities once the job has been awarded but in bidding and pending you would maybe want to go in and make some adjustments during that stage so it keeps you from uh, making changes by locking the bid uh, we're going to be bidding this one so we're going to select that and down here under estimator since it's a new database we don't have any estimators so I'll put my my name in here and uh, once again, um, if it's not in there, you just hit enter and it says Dan Rondinelli was not found. Would you like to add it? Just go ahead and click yes. And then it uh, puts in um, this prompt for you to fill in the information related to that. So uh, not, not necessary, but it's uh, just so that you're aware of it. Oh, so I got to put an employee number in there. So I'll just put uh, employee 100. and we'll go ahead and select that and then notes uh, this is where I put um, bid is due um, on the 20th and then uh, job number is once the job is awarded you might have a job number like um, if it's the fifth job that was awarded in 2013 you, your job number might be 1305 so uh, since we're bidding it we're not put a job number in there so we'll just leave that blank here's where you can actually go change uh, those couple items that came up on the wizard this area down here is where we're gonna add the drawings so we're gonna do that a couple different ways um, we're gonna go to this third uh, icon over it has a little mountain seed and it says uh, insert new image page that's the one we're going to work with and you're going to want to um, point this to the directory that you downloaded those agency plans in so uh, so you're going to select that and then at this point it's going to ask you if you want to go ahead and convert it to a TIFF format. Right now I'm going to say no because I'm going to show you a different way to convert it to a TIFF format. So go ahead and hit no.
Okay, so what it did was it downloaded those combined files and uh, now you're going to hit OK. One other thing is we want to click on cover sheet and we want to take out that first blank sheet because it always opens up the bid with a blank sheet in it. So I'm going to take that uh, right there, that first page, and then I'm going to come down here and hit the delete button. That's where we're going to delete that first page. Okay, so here's where we got the drawings that popped up. Um, you'll notice that this is going to be really slow when you click between pages, and that's because they're a PDF file. So the program is set up to uh, be optimized when the plans are converted to TIFF files. So you can see it's just grinding away. So uh, what we want to do is uh, go up under this image tab and with that image tab it brings up um, these items that we can adjust this page that we're looking at. So we can adjust images, we can darken, enhance, we can invert them, we can, um, if it's a bitonal, um, we can flip and rotate. Uh, we can straighten the plan out. That's what that uh, D-skew is, D -skew is. And then um, what we were looking for is this bottom one, this convert current image to a TIFF. So you click on it. And it's asking if we want to do it to all the pages. So you go ahead and hit yes. And then it's going to work away to convert those to the TIFF file. Okay, so we're back. Uh, we about finished the conversion here. So now, if you go from page to page, it ends up being much quicker. Now that's in that TIFF format. Okay, before we get going, I wanted to jump back to this cover sheet and just uh, let you know of a couple other ways that you can add those um, plans to your bid. So if you're uh, just say you wanted to add a title there, you just come down there, to come down to the bottom under Insert a New Blank Page, and you notice it put it on the second line, second row. So you come over here to the uh, right hand corner, and then uh, here's where you can go ahead and. If you wanted to put a little little note on there, or if you were adding um, spaces in between different sets just to kind of uh, set them apart, you'd be able to do that. Uh, the other one here is this is an auto add image, and so what happens when you click on this is it'll allow you to download everything that's in the folder. So if there were multiple files in this folder, you click on one file within the folder and it will download all, say there was four files in there, it would download all four of those files and put them into your set. Um, so that's kind of a handy um, wizard that uh, you should be aware of. Um, and then this is, uh, if you wanted to add a folder, so you want to add a, a file structure to your drawings, you can add a folder and so uh, in that example where I just added a blank sheet, you could actually change the name of the folder and you could call it Combine Plans or say it's an addendum, you know, you could put addendum in here. And uh, that information, then you can move the files into that folder and then they become um, like a parent and a child. Just gotta learn how to spell, huh? If you don't want any of this in there, like I, you know, I don't. Is uh, this X is the delete button, so you can delete. And then uh, let's see the other one that's. 
pretty helpful is if you're adding files like we were just looking at before like uh, I've got the plans individual and I'm gonna explain to you a little bit of that difference but if if you have individual drawings you can go ahead and um, use the shift key and select them all or you can uh, use the control key and just select the individual plans that you want to download and put into your bid.